Don't complicate things here. We have a triangle, we have one angle of the triangle. We know overall that there are 180 degrees in every single triangle that is given to us in the reference chart. Personally, I think that is something that you need to memorize. It is so fundamental to geometry that it's gonna come up again and again. But if you needed to look it up, it is in the reference chart that is given to you on every single question. So from there, just subtract out the 63. Let's subtract that out, 63. And here I just use my regular calculator. So we have 180 minus 63, and we get 117. So what that means is that there are two angles left in this triangle that have to add up to 117. So that just means that, first of all, we could never have one angle be 180 degrees. That doesn't make any sense. But the other two, B and C, these would put us over the limit. So it is possible to have a triangle with a 118 degree angle or a 126 degree angle, but we only have 117 degrees left. So 116 is totally fine because we could have a very, very skinny triangle, one degree angle, that's fine. It could even be less than that if we want, but it can't be zero. And so that's why it kind of has to be just choice A. But I feel like people would get flustered by this because they're like, oh, I don't know the angles. I, don't, I only have one. But yeah, it's, it's conceptual. It's about, it's about how many degrees you can have total. So just, if you just did this subtraction, that, that you should never have had any doubt here because only one thing makes sense when you've done the subtraction. The reason people are gonna get this wrong or have trouble with it is they're so afraid to do the subtraction because they're like, oh, but I don't have the other angle. I don't know what to do. Just in general on the SAT, if you can do something, you should do that. Just see what happens. Odds are good, you'll figure it out.